Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Recon Stewart, trainee of the 476th Virtual Fighter Group assigned to the 74th Flying Tigers. I am currently uh, doing mission qualification training number 5, which is the GAO 8 and rocket employment. Uh, I go up on my training flight tonight with Snoopy and I do some employments of both weapons from different altitudes and dive angles. So I'm going to jump into our flight plan and then we'll go ahead and jump into the cockpit. Okay, so this is our flight plan for tonight. We will be flying out of Krasnodar and heading to the Pashenka range. And we will be employing GAO-8 cannon and rocket 2.75 rockets. And we'll be delivering low angle strafes and high angle strafes. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the delivery methods. Uh, <clears throat> so for the GAO-8, there's two uh, strafes that we're working on, the low angle strafe and the high angle strafe. And the first thing I should tell you, well, let me get through this first. So the first thing we do is the low angle strafe, planned delivery. Uh, we start out at 2,500 feet AGL. 335 knots and our base distance from the target is 2.3 nautical miles and when we tip in on the target we should be at a 10 degree dive angle and our firing slat range should be 0.7 nautical miles with a safe escape maneuver of turn level turn. We will then climb up to 10,000 feet and we will do the high angle strafe which will be starting from 10,000 AGL 280 knots uh, 3.0 knot, uh, excuse me, nautical mile base distance with a 30 degree dive angle with a firing slant range of one nautical mile and we will use a safe escape maneuver of a climb. Now the issue that I ran into when I flow, flew this mission tonight is I mistook this 45 degree here. I knew what it was at the beginning of the mission but then I still got confused and in my canopy references, if you remember last time I talked about the canopy references, you have the base of the canopy is 45 degrees, and then that first bolt on the canopy bow is 30 degrees, the second bolt up is 20 degrees, and the third bolt up is 10 degrees. Um, so basically, I got confused and I put everything at the 45 degree canopy reference instead of the 30 degree so all of my dives in both the GAO-8 cannon and the uh, rocket strafes are at 45 degrees instead of the 30 degrees which I should have been which is my fault for confusing the issue anyway uh, once we're done with that we will f fly up to uh, continue at 10,000 feet and we will run in at 250 knots again with a 3 nautical mile base 30 degree dive angle which in our case is going to be 45 degree we'll release at 6,000 feet AGL at a 1.7 nautical mile slat range with a climbing safe escape maneuver and once we finish with the high altitude tactical rocket we'll come back down to the low angle rocket and uh, again we'll be at 2,500 feet AGL we'll run in at 335 knots with a 1.9 nautical mile base distance and this will be a 10 degree dive with a release at a thousand feet AGL and a 0.9 nautical mile slant range and then of course our safe escape maneuver will be turn level turn. Uh, I hope that wasn't too confusing. Alright so with that let's jump into the cockpit and we will see you in the air. Pashenka, Cylon 2, turning downwind. Turn base shortly. I need a 10 degree dive 
and 0.7 slant range. Pashenka, saddle on two, turning base. Shanka, Cylon 2 tipping in. Pull up, pull up. Cylon 2 off. Shank Asylum 2 turning down. So I went a little too far on my downwind that time. I'm going to turn down now. Shank Asylum 2 turning base. Shanka, sell on two tipping in. Pull up, pull up. Guns, guns, guns. Sell on two off. Cell on two to silent one. Uh, should I climb to ten thousand now? Yep, A firm. Establish uh, and set up for the Hass. <laughs> two. All right, so now I'm climbing to ten thousand feet for two hundred eighty knots and a thirty degree dive angle with the climbing safe escape mover. Now when I tip in, I need to. Throttle idle. Pashenka, Cylon 2, turning down. Shanka, Cylon 2, turning base.
Shanka, Cylon 2, tipping in. Pull up! Pull up! Guns, guns, guns. Cylon 2 off. Pashenka, Cylon 2 turning down. Shanka, Cylon 2 turning base. Shank a silent two tipping in. Pull up, guns, guns, pull guns. up. Shank a silent two off. All right, go ahead and uh, climb back to ten thousand for the high altitude tactical rocket. Two. High altitude tactical rockets be at 10,000 feet, 250 knots, 30 degree dive, released by 6,000 AGL, 1.7 slant range with a climb, safe escape maneuver. A maneuver. Shank a Cylon 2 turning down. Shanka, Cylon 2, turning base, high altitude rocket delivery.
Shank Asylum 2 tipping in. Shank Asylum 2 off. Shank Asylum 2 turning downwind. Shank Asylum 2 turning base. Shank Asylum 2 tipping in. Asylum 2 off. Right two, set up for the uh, low angle rocket. Two. All right, low angle rocket. I'm going to be two thousand twenty-five hundred feet, three hundred and thirty-five knots, ten degrees uh, dive with a point nine slant range. Shank Asylum 2 turning downwind. Shank Asylum 2 turning base. Shank Asylum 2 tipping in. Shank Asylum 2 off.
Shank Asylum on two turning downwind. Twenty five hundred feet, three hundred and thirty five knots, ten degree dive angle, point nine slant range for rocket release. Shank Asylum two turning base. Shank Asylum 2 tipping in. Pull up, pull up. Shank Asylum 2 off. Go ahead and fence out. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. This is Recon Stewart, and here is a TAC view of 476th Virtual Fighter Group mission qualification number five. I'm doing gun runs and rocket strafes. So, this is my very first gun run, low angle strafe, uh, approximately 10 degree dive angle. So, we'll watch it here from the external, and then we'll jump into the HUD. So there's my roll in, 10 degree dive angle, gun run out, I'm dropping chaff on accident, should have been flares, and I do my turn level turn escape maneuver. Alright, let's back up and view that through the HUD. Rolling in, approximately 10 degree dive angle. 1.7 slant range, rounds on target, and turn level turn. Alright, let's fast forward to the next one. Alright, we're rolling in. Again, same parameters as before. Good hits. There are the flares. Turn level turn. All right, let's pause it and back up. And switch to HUD. Now, if you remember, we need to be at approximately 2,500 feet AGL, which this is not an accurate representation because it's not taking into account sea level. Um, and we also need to be at... Uh, 335 knots and we are at 322 306 see if we can increase that while we're trying to get it set up here for this run and then we want to roll it in and be about 10 degree dive angle and let's see here uh, dive angle is just a little steep, but we get good rounds on target, and we're turn level turn off the target. All right, let's do our uh, high angle gun runs. I missed this one here. Okay, here we go. We're at uh, 10,000 feet. Now, this is the one where I mistake make the mistake of doing a 45 degree canopy reference instead of 30 degree so my dives are actually 45 instead of 30 is what they should be so I'm rolling in on the target 45 degree dive angle guns 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 
Looks like good rounds on targets. Flaring is out. And I'm doing my climb escape maneuver. Let's back up and look at that through the HUD. Remember, I need 280 airspeed and about 10,000 feet. Rolling in. You'll see 45 degree dive angle, almost perfect. On target. Guns, guns, guns. At one nautical mile slat range. Good burst, good target hits, and climbing safe escape maneuver. Back to our next pass. Getting in position. Rolling in. Forty-five degree angle should be thirty degrees. Guns, guns, guns. Good hits on target. Flaring and climbing safe escape maneuver. Let's back that up and look at it through the HUD view. Two hundred eighty knots, approximately ten thousand feet. Uh, sea, not can count sea level. Forty-five degree dive angle should be thirty. And guns, guns, guns. And climbing safe escape maneuver before I go below two thousand feet. All right, and let's go back. I think I've got the rocket passes now. So here's my first rocket pass at high angle. Same 45 degree, same parameters as the gun run, just the rocket. Rocket looks good on target, climbing safe escape maneuver. Let's take a look through the HUD. Again, 250 knots, 10,000 feet. Rolling in, we're looking for 45 degrees. Looks pretty close. Yep, even closer. And rocket, good rocket on target. Flaring and climbing. Let's try our next rocket attack. And again, 10,000 feet. 250 knots rolling in rocket is good climbing and I don't perform the climb maneuver as I should as I'm trying to get down to the next 2500 uh, altitude for the next two low angle strafes with the rockets I make a one pass dry Okay, and this one I am, let me pause it for a second, I am 335 knots, which I've got 330, and I'm at 2500 AGL. Rolling in, 10 degree dive angle, rockets away, good target, flares, and turn level turn, safe escape maneuver. Let's watch it through the HUD, looking for a 10 degree dive angle. And we're a little steeper than that, but not too much. And good tack, good rocket on target, safe escape. Come back to the HUD, or I'm sorry, the external. Turning in, and rockets away, flaring and turn level turn. Let's watch that one one more time through the HUD. Back it up just a touch. We're looking for 10 degree dive angle, 330 knots, 2,500 feet, and a 10 degree dive angle here. Place the pipper uh, just below the target, which is the issue that I think I was having. So I'm a little too steep and rockets away on on target flaring turn level turn safe escape maneuver all right so that was the gow 8 gun runs and rocket employment uh definitely need some work on my dive angles and following the instructions from the beginning 
and instead of doing 45 degree I should have been doing 30 degree dives but uh, what can I do about it except get better for next time all right uh, if there are any questions please leave them below in the comment or send me an email um, and I will do my best to answer them all right this is recon Stewart thanks for watching and I will be signing off for the 476th take care